night with Flavia. Sophisticated, very clean, and she knew what she wanted. I knew that for the lunch, I wanted something very colorful, and for the dinner, I wanted something simple. That was due to having it in the same location. I didn't want people to feel like they were coming to the same event for two days in a row. And I think the usage of color palettes and tying the details in together that way is the only way to do it, really. The save the date tied to the lunch, very colorful and very fun. And then our wedding invites tied to Saturday night, which was more neutrals and understated. Once we nailed down the crest, we started working on the table layouts. And Flavia wanted to do something kind of pared down and, and a little simpler. She really liked craft paper. So we decided to do matte white ink foil stamped on craft board. I love her menus. She draws, you know, like a little ingredient from each dish. They did a Yucatan lime soup. So I did a little lime and then a salad and little you know, mixed greens. And then we left this area blank. And now I'm going in by hand and lettering in each guest's name so that this menu will act as each guest's place card. Some people tend to take them home. It's kind of fun to have a menu as like a memory of the evening. We wanted to wow guests yesterday in a playful way, and now we're stepping it up. Places like this, you don't have to work hard to change. You really get to just highlight the surroundings versus some spaces you need to totally transform them. I'm making a flower crown for Flavia. She sent me some different photos of inspiration. She asked that the flowers not be too big, something just really ethereal, and something different that she can wear that signifies that she's the bride without carrying around a bouquet. Working for Erin Lauder has made me so much more aware of flowers and table settings and the small details. She had some advice just to add special touches that would make it feel more special, and one of them was the monogram napkins. Erin's so elegant and understated, which I think translated to my wedding, well, hopefully. 